in composition and in playing. And what he said when they were going the recording process, because the good thing about jazz, uh, as opposed to classical music, is that we have all, all its history, it's recorded, it's recorded. There's no, there's no jazz as we know it that it's not recorded because it started in, in, the, in, the, you know, in, in the 19th century. So. so what he said is, because we have this device, let's use it. Jazz players were, were flexible, that I told you before. So we have this device, let's use it in, in, um, uh, in a fair manner. It's like when you go up stage, you have one time to play it. Maybe two some, but usually it's one. So Monk said that we played once, then we played twice. If you've done a mistake, you're going to live with it for the rest of your life. That's it. So you got to be good. In improvisation, uh, musicians, I mean in jazz, but in general, mostly in jazz, um, they, don't, they don't think of what they're playing. They don't actually think, okay, now an E-flat is coming, so I'm going to play this and a G. They don't think like that. They just, they just react. So um, many, many musicians, I don't know if somebody quoted this or not, but many, many musicians from my, from my experience uh, usually say that uh, if you want to play 10 things in your improvisations, you have to know 10,000 things. It's, it, there's a w it's way different how I play when I'm on stage, and it's way different when I play the same things at my house. I, at my house, I play like I don't know who. I'm like the best musician in the world. I can do anything. And then I, I go on stage, and I have to interact. I have to listen to everybody else. I have to do stuff. And... All the things don't come out because you have to know 10,000 to play 10 things. You want to play 100, you, you got to know 100,000. That's why it's an evolved process all the time. Uh, even for, for classical piano players, they play, uh, they, they prepare a program for a year or two. And I can, I can vouch for that too because I've seen it, I've done it, that when you start playing in early March preparing for your next season, uh, two years after that, if you, if you record yourself in 2008 and you, you start touring in 2010, there's, there's nothing like you started playing in 2008 and 2009. You've, put, you've given yourself into it. You've changed things. You've skipped uh, dynamics. You've skipped crescendos. You've, you've done all things to make the piece come to your liking. In all those two years, you know the piece, uh, uh, you know, right ways and backwards. So you can do with it whatever you want. You don't have, you just react, just play. It's nice music. You sing along to it. You don't have to read the paper. You don't have to be. I mean, you have to be focused. But you, the, the less real, the, the more relaxed you are, the better you will play. That goes for improvisation. I'm talking in terms of classical music because I know most of you are in classical music. So. Uh, that same thing applies about jazz. Same thing applies about jazz. When you go up there, if you play big players, for example, uh, one, one good, great thing about jazz is when you play with good players, they push you to your limit. Uh, there's this um, exception that verifies the rule, which is if you know 10,000 things and you can play 10 in your improvisation, if you play with Coltrane or some big you know, improvisator, uh, they can make you play 11. Because they will, they will actually uh, physically drag you out. He will play, and then you have to catch up to him. Because if you don't, it's like, why are you playing with him? So all, all, those, all those interactions in music, either it's the same genre or different genres, for me, or uh, idioms in, in the present case, uh, for me is the, uh, the level of the musicianship of, of each musician. Either it's traditional, either it's jazz, classical, or whatever it is. First element is the level of musicianship. If first, one, one main thing for me is uh, you have to listen to what the other guy is doing. You have to listen closely. If in, in, in all music, you have to listen what the other guy is doing. If you dive into it and you don't listen to what, what other people are doing, it's, it's, you, know, you don't have to be there. Just go home and play. The second element is same language, same musical language, first of all, and uh, then technical language. What are we doing here? What is this? Is it G sharp? Okay, yeah, G sharp, but 
the traditional musician doesn't know what G sharp means. That doesn't doesn't know G sharp major. Show me what it is. So you're gonna have to help them and and tell them that okay, this this is it. You know that song? Usually that's how we communicate with traditional musicians. Do you remember that song? Oh yeah. Okay, play it from that key, and they they play it beautifully. It's a different language. So you have to know. You know, in order to to involve to evolve, you have to uh, know the languages. Another element is um, uh, the improvisation, which is actually we're talking about here. But every 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 element comes into improvisation. And then there's a, a fourth step that it's happening actually now. It's it's been happening the last twenty years, which is the fusion. Uh, between the East and West and all traditions, I mean, uh, in the in, in uh, industry-wise, uh, all the ethnic music and world jazz and all those names they give it, uh, which what what the industry does it does it in a wrong way. What it does is they take a night player, put him in a studio, get the samples they want. So you say play Taksim in D, okay? He plays. Uh, play me. That traditional song in uh, in that key, okay, he plays it, and they, they send him away, and then they take a jazz musician, a bass player, says okay, he played this stuff, so you know you can play this chord and this chord and this chord on it under it, okay, he's getting paid, so he's doing it. There's no interaction between musicians, and they build it up, and they have a new record. Okay, you know this guy, you know who's the famous, you know the most famous from all of them, he makes a record, and he has most of it, you know most people don't even meet. They send it from the states back to you know, technology is big now. So, but that, that's not that's not what you're supposed to do. You have to interact with these people in order to, to build something up. And I'm I'm in favor of, of playing with the same people all the time, so you know what what you know what they're doing. Uh, because I've 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 I've, st I've studied hard enough with music, and that's all the, you know all I did in my life. Uh, when I when I, uh, I I I switched from classical music because jazz was not a big thing in Greece anyway. Uh, when I switched from classical to to, uh, to jazz, I was 18 years old and uh, I, I had a book by Marcos Alexiou. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Uh, he wrote the first jazz book in in, uh, in Greece, and um, I couldn't understand what that book was saying. I really didn't. I mean, I, it was nice and all the numbers and all the chords and all that. But I would play them. I mean, I could. I was, you know, in, uh, how do they call it, PQ? I don't know. Uh, my degree in piano. And I, I, I could play. I could understand the G sharps and all that because they write differently. But they wouldn't make any sense. And uh, I, I found out 18 years old that uh, Marcos Alexis is, is teaching improvisation at the Nakas Conservatory. And I went there. And it was nothing like I imagined. It was a, a different, a different, different different thing from what I, I, from what I thought it was going to be. Uh, and that's my journey started with improvisation, uh, knowing that there's so many elements that have to be together. And then uh, after my, my uh, scholarship, when I went to Berkeley, I found out that, that w there was even more stuff to be happening with, with other traditions. And I, I, I came back. Um, to classical music, trying to compose in a mortal way in order to understand my tradition. I, I understood my Greek tradition in the States. An Arab tradition I understood in the States. Because, well, actually, to tell you the truth, people are more involved in what they're doing there than they are here. Here, there, there's so few people that do this, which is, it's embarrassing sometimes. But it doesn't, I mean, there could be a, an academy for this. It, it, it doesn't exist. They could they could do it in 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 uh, in Odea. Uh, Odea, yeah, there's no word such, but music schools, little music schools of the of Athens or or, or even in uh, in rural areas and stuff. They don't do it. It's just a package from the ministry. It's okay. You have to do this and this and this and that's it. We could do better than this. I don't know. We used to be, you know, the the start of music in the world and now we we're like the last ones <coughs> and we have so much good musicians i mean all those guys that they're in there they're good musicians they are really good musicians and they're struggling you know uh, because you know they're not supposed to be uh, serious because they play jazz that's that's not true 
You know how much 